It is very good. What is? The, whatever this was made today, the head of the chicken. I think it's rosemary is what you put on like turkey and stuff. Typically, that's that taste. Oh, is that? Hey, friends. Okay, so let me lower you guys down actually. Just a smidge, because this isn't like a tutorial, so it doesn't have to be super exact. Much better. So, I am getting ready. I figured while I get ready, I would share um, some updates on my current like health routine, weight loss journey. I've had so many questions about it that I felt like it was just time to, to sit down and talk about it um, with you guys. So there are, I have my notes here, three main things that I wanted to discuss. Okay, camera, you're going to have to stay in focus. Um, when it comes to my weight loss journey, so I'll talk a little bit about it first. So I have been at a very consistent weight for the last, like, three years maybe. And that's why I count calories. Like, I always count calories and pretty regularly, like, was working out, you know, once, twice, sometimes three times a week. Um just to kind of make sure that I maintained my weight. And that was because I knew I was at a healthy weight. Like my doctors were all like, great, cool, fine. That's a perfect weight for your height, for your build. Um, perfect. So my weight necessarily wasn't what got me, but it was, I, I just have maintained the same like five to 10 pounds, like within the certain range for the last like three, four years. So I, during quarantine, I got a little bit bored and so I was like, all right, well maybe I could work out and I didn't. And there was one day that I remember I got on my scale and I noticed that I was like four pounds over what I had been maintaining for the last like three or so years. And that was the heaviest I'd ever been in my life. And I was like, something's got to give. Like, my mom struggled with weight for years, lost a ton of weight um, when I was, I want to say it was like when I was in middle school maybe, like middle school to high school. Um, and something she's always told me is like, you have to get it under control. You have to like be conscious about your decision making with food or genetically, like our family we lean more towards the heavy side. So she's always kind of like put that in me. Um, also, my mom really struggled with infertility. I don't know if I've ever talked about that, but I actually have two siblings that are adopted um, because my parents were told they, they couldn't have children. And one of the things was my mom had PCOS. And so she like tried and tried and tried for years and years, couldn't get pregnant. They adopted my oldest brother, my oldest sister, um, I do get the question a lot, like, are they from the same set of parents? No, and they adopted them. So my, my brother is 27, my sister will be 20, or is she is 26, she turned 26 this month, I'm 25, and then my younger brother, who is like biologically related to me, is 23. God, we're also getting so old. Um, but one of the things my mom said was she was like, I, you know, had PCOS, I couldn't get pregnant, I struggled for years, I had my two kids, I was good, I was done, I, I wasn't trying for children anymore, so I got in shape, lost all this weight, and then of course I got pregnant, she got pregnant twice naturally with me and then my younger brother. So she's always said, like, I don't have PCOS, but she's like, you just need to be careful and be conscious, because, like, literally I had infertility, and the, the thing that worked was losing weight. So, um, she's always just kind of told me, so that's kind of the backstory of why I got very self-conscious. So I decided actually in February, so that was before quarantine, that I was going to start full-time intermittent fasting. That was another thing I was really doing to just maintain my weight. God, I need Botox. My Botox appointment is in two weeks and I cannot wait. Started getting the headaches again and I've started noticing the like lines showing back up. Oh, it's frustrating. I'm sorry the camera keeps going in and out of focus, you guys. 
um, I'm trying to like keep my face focused towards you so it doesn't do that. Um, but so I decided to institute intermittent fasting and I remember I started it the weekend that my friends moved into their house. So I can't remember what date, but I know it was like, I want to say it was the first week of February. Um, and I do the 16-8 fasting. So basically that's like 16 hours of the day you are fasting and you're only eating for eight hours. Now that seemed very intimidating at first and it will seem very intimidating at first. It was one of the easiest things ever like to ever incorporate into my diet because basically you just have to be like conscious about what time you start eating. Like that's really it. If you want to get serious about losing weight, I'll get into more about the counting calories, but just in general, like if you just go from like eating whenever you want to just intermittent fasting, eating between a certain eight hour window, you'll notice a difference in your weight and um, like your energy. So you can pick whatever eight hour window works for you. I originally was doing the 11 to 7, so I started eating at 11 in the afternoon, and I stopped by 7, but just recently that no longer was fitting um, because I did start working out. I was, like, coming from home, getting home at 545, then having to, like, quickly go and work out and come home and, like, shove food in my mouth as fast as possible to eat before 7, and it just wasn't working, so I now changed it. I start eating at 12 in the afternoon, and then um, I'm done by 8 o'clock. So intermittent fasting is pretty easy. You can still have your coffee and stuff, basically. Within the 16-hour window, you can have anything that's like a drink or anything that's under 50 calories. Um, I drink my coffee in the morning with like a little bit of creamer because the creamer is only 40 calories. And I just drink that and then I drink water. You will be so surprised how quick 12 o'clock comes or even like 11 o'clock comes when you're just focused on like drinking your coffee and drinking your water. Um, so that's just kind of the intermittent fasting that I do. But basically the whole point of it is like during those 16 hours, your body is feeding off of itself and like you're not just eating whenever you want. It's also easier to count calories during intermittent fasting because um, at one point I remember I was allotted like 1600 calories a day. And if you wake up and you immediately start eating, you have a whole long day ahead of you with only so many calories left. And if you only have an eight hour window to eat those 1600 calories, it feels more like a treat, I guess. But I think a lot of intermittent fasting has a lot to do with your mindset. Um, and that was a big reason I was able to like finally get my fitness on track is because I changed my mindset. So intermittent fasting, I'm trying to read my notes here. So I've talked about the uh, MyFitnessPal app for a while. I have used it. I want to say my dad was the one I think who introduced it to me March before my wedding. Um, I wasn't like super, I didn't care that much about working out before my wedding. I actually was working out a lot, but like the month of my wedding, I had absolutely no time to work out. So I was like, all right, well, I just can't work out. I'm just going to eat right. So I ended up using the MyFitnessPal app. And what I love about it is it customizes completely based on what your goal weight is, how much weight you want to lose each week, how active you are. And then also, so say you get 1500 calories a day. If you work out, you track your calories, you burn 300 calories during that workout, you put the workout in, it's going to add that to the calories that you can eat. So if you haven't eaten anything, you have 1500 calories for the whole day, you work out, burn 300 calories, you put that in, you then have 1800 calories to eat for the whole day. So that really helps a lot because then it's kind of like, if I want to eat that cookie, which I do still eat, like I still treat myself for going to the melting pot tonight for our anniversary and I'm going to eat chocolate. Like I don't care. Um, you just have to be like, all right, I just got to work out a little bit harder today and it'll totally be worth eating that one cookie. And then there's also other times where you're like, you know what, this cookie isn't worth it because I have to work my butt off to burn it off. So, um, the MyFitnessPal app, I've been using it for two years and it is amazing. I highly, highly recommend it. Even if you're not on a fitness journey, if you're just trying to maintain weight, if you're trying to gain weight, it is amazing. It's easy. It's free. I love it. Okay, so, oh, and just to tell you guys, so I am allotted right now 1,400, 1,410 calories a day, yeah. Um, and then when I work out, that gets added to that 1,400 calories. So like I worked out this morning, I burned 250. So I get like, what is that, like 1,660 now or something like that um, to eat for the entire day. 
that is how I count calories. Before I talk about my workout, I weight isn't everything. And that is something that I did not know until I got on my fitness journey. And I've always heard people say it, your weight is irrelevant, it's your measurements that matter. Um, and I was doing my <laughs> weight and I was weighing myself every morning and I couldn't figure it out. So I actually will put a picture up on the screen of the scale that I use. It is a BMI scale. It helps so much. My mom actually had a physical done like a week or so before I got the BMI scale. And when she stepped on it, it like point for point was like almost identical to the blood work and what they said at like her physical. Um, so it is accurate. It's actually fairly affordable to be a BMI scale. And so I'll link it below for you guys. I highly recommend getting that again, because like, it's not so much about the weight that matters. It's about like your body fat that matters. And like that tells you your water weight and your like how much muscle mass you have. So that is amazing because it's not just like, it's not about weight. Like I weigh, like I, my weight is actually pretty stagnant right now, but my clothes are fitting me better and I actually haven't measured myself. I need to do my measurements again. Um, but I know I have lost inches off of my waist and so it's not necessarily about the weight, but I highly recommend getting that scale if you're gonna, if you're gonna try and get in shape. So, um, my open fit is the app that I use for my workouts. So that is created by Andrea Rogers. There are so many programs that you can do. Like what we actually do, you can do it online, um, like on your computer, you can like cast it on your computer. What I do is I go down, open up the app, and then I put it on Chromecast and me and my mom use it to work out. So let's see, they've got, so you can see all of their programs. They've got Extend Bar, Five Day Fit Week Challenge, um, Rough Around the Edges, which is like a dancing, kind of like Zumba on steroids. Tough Mudder, which is very similar to CrossFit, minus like the tires and stuff like that. It's like CrossFit that you can do yourself. He is tough. Um, 600 Seconds, which is literally like 10 minute workouts. So awesome, and they are hardcore. They have yoga and then Pilates. So tons of programs you're gonna get um, from just that one app. So it is amazing. and. I don't know if there are, if there are, I have not seen them, but I believe that every workout on there is under 30 minutes. So that is literally all I do. Me and my mom work out five days a week for 30 minutes a day. We like to change it up. We'll go between the weightlifting and the 600 seconds. Like we'll do three of the 10 minute different workouts, just like based on what area we want to target. Um, sometimes we'll do Pilates, sometimes we'll do bar. It's just basically like customized to us. It is so easy we enjoy it so much and I feel like although there are some you like need equipment for there are a lot of workouts that you don't need equipment for and like they tell you you can just use this if you don't have this piece of equipment but like I feel like that is it's one of the best workouts that I've ever done from home um I did obey fitness for a while and I say a while it was like a month and I I liked obey fitness the problem with it was I feel like it was for people who are out of shape and while like there's a 21 day program that Andrea Rogers does in my open fit that like gets you like you go you just do one class a day um, for 21 days straight and you just it kind of gets you to a very fit place to then start kind of doing your own workouts. I feel like those are so much better because Obey Fitness like no judgment but I just wasn't tired like after the first week of doing their program I just didn't feel like I was really getting a lot out of them and like Andrea's programs I still am like dead on the floor like feel like I worked out so hard and I mean it, it seems so simple so Obey is is good if you're completely out of shape but if you're looking for a long term like I'm gonna get in shape and stay in shape I wouldn't recommend it because you're just gonna have to change the program so I think that's everything if I didn't cover something please just leave a comment below um so that others can see it and i will make sure i get back to you i do me and my mom um do the one year program like you can there's different packages in open fit i paid for just like the one year full it's only like a hundred bucks for the entire year um because i knew i would be like i love this program and so i just decided to do the one year 
membership and it works great like super easy but you can do the monthly you know you can i think there's a trial period um so it's really good now i wanted to talk about what i eat in a day because this was actually what i got questions about a lot too um and uh, like i said like i'm going to the melting pot today i'm not gonna make a big deal out of it like i feel like like when i know somebody who's on keto when i know somebody who is doing um like crazy just south beach diets they want to tell you they just want to talk about it they want to go out to eat and be like oh i'm doing keto so i can't have that and i can't have that and i think when it's just counting calories there's no drama involved like it's not a big deal if you go over your calories that's fine just don't do it every day or if you do like make sure you're working out um there's just no drama that goes in with like me losing weight and what i eat and if I want to eat a cookie, I'm going to eat a cookie. The other night, I ate an entire bag of Doritos to myself. And I worked out that morning. So although it was over my calorie count, I was just like, you know what? I shouldn't have done that. I definitely regretted it. But I was like, but it's fine. Like, I'm not going to punish myself because I ate a whole bag of Doritos. Um, so <laughs> it, it's just a very low key. But I try to eat very healthy on a regular weekly basis and then if I do eat unhealthy um like chocolates things like that desserts I do that on the weekends only so that at least I know I'm only doing it for two nights not five um so I do like I said now the 12 to 8 intermittent fasting and what I will do is I get up in the morning I take my Modere um I have a full post on that or a full video on that on my main channel I'll link in the description bar below for you guys but I take my Modere I drink my coffee and I drink my water until 12 12 o'clock at 12 o'clock I will eat my overnight oats I have talked about this on my Instagram before my Instagram stories um basically all I do you can add whatever you want I've seen so many people and they're like I add brown sugar and I add all of these sweet things and I'm like but that kind of defeats the purpose like I'm someone who I can eat a, a bland healthy meal every morning for breakfast and it's not gonna bother me I couldn't do it for dinner but like a bland literally it's oatmeal and it's half a cup of dry oatmeal and then I take, I think it's half a cup of unsweetened almond milk. That's it. Like I don't, it, that's fine with me. But some people add in sh brown sugar, some people add in regular sugar, some people add in um, like, you know, you can add in chocolate chips. Some people add in like fruit, which is very healthy. Um, but I literally just do like overnight oats and a tiny bit of cinnamon and it is like good to go. So that's what I eat at 12 o'clock. Um, that's only about a hundred and I believe it's only like 150 calories or 160 calories or something. So it's not that many. Um, and then by about 1 30, 2 o'clock, I usually get hungry again. So at that point I start, um, and I drink my vanilla premier protein shake. I do this every day. It's not, I don't want to call it a meal replacement. Like people ask, do you use it as a meal replacement? Like kind of, but not really. It's more like a snack replacement m replacement um I have done it as a meal replacement in the past I don't think it's like super filling but I mean it does work to each its own so at that point you know 160 calories premier protein by that point in the afternoon it's probably like 2 30 3 o'clock um if i get hungry i will eat granola bars that are under 100 calories so those actually have chocolate in them they're just like the regular i can't think of what they're called but they're just like 100 calories they're these tiny little granola bars and that's like the snack i'll do or i'll eat um an apple i've really been enjoying strawberries lately or i'll eat some carrots um one thing that i have found that has helped a lot about quarantine is the restaurants were closed or Okay, restaurants were closed indoors. You could still do drive-through and the drive-throughs were crazy. So I, once I went back to the office, I was like, screw that. And I just started packing my lunch, which helped a lot because I was able to A, save a lot of money. B, I wasn't making a conscious decision about my food based on how hungry I was. And C, it made me plan what I was gonna eat. So my calories were lower. Okay, so yeah, that, um, sorry, my battery died. So that did help me a lot with like I know how many calories are in my lunchbox in the day so apples are kind of what I snack on and then when I get home that's when I do my workout and then um from there anything that's left over I'll eat for dinner so usually I'm loving grilled chicken lately um or even like steak 
we'll do asparagus asparagus is not that many calories green beans are not that many calories uh corn is not that many calories so i just try to stick with mainly veggies i will still have a starch sometimes if i want again i just try not to eat them five nights a week like every night i'm not gonna eat like rice or um mashed potatoes like i make sure that those are like weekend foods just because i don't want to like eat that every single night so um a meat and two basically is what we do but it's not always the case and sometimes we go out but the whole point that i'm trying to make is like there's just no drama to my weight loss this time and that's what i like is like i don't feel like i'm on this restrictive diet i don't feel like there's things i can't have it's just i work out i'm conscious about what i eat i count my calories and that's that um so I hope that this answered all of your questions. Again, if I did not uh, answer anything, please leave them in the comment section below and I will make sure that I get back to you. But I think that's, I mean, I think that's pretty much everything. Just really enjoy the My Open, My Open Fit app. Um, highly recommend checking it out if you are on your journey to fitness. Okay, I gotta finish getting ready. I'm not focusing, I feel. I'm like, this has taken me so long to do and usually I'd be like done with my makeup by now. So I'm gonna finish getting ready um, and I guess I will check in with you guys later.